right viewers, me and Buster just out for a walk. We're just at Fladbury, there's a lovely walk there. Sorry to whoever owns this car, but Buster's just pissed on your wheel. This is just about three miles down the road from where I live, this. Fladbury Mill it's called, it's beautiful round here. The River Avon's just over there. See the fishermen fishing it. A lovely church up there in the distance on that hill. And they're all private gardens where it rises up. Love to detect them onto the high ground up to the hill. Absolutely beautiful here. This is all part of a historical mill, Flabbury Mill. It's like a little uh, headland that cuts out into the river. Beautiful. Look at this old apple tree. Well, when I say old, it probably is fairly old, but I mean the apples will be old on it now. Yeah, I don't even think they'd be good for scrumpy just now. Shout out to Kerry Katzenberger, one of my viewers from over on the other side of the Atlantic. He said he likes to see my videos, seeing different parts of the world. Well, this is a really beautiful part of the world in Worcestershire. Little village called Flabbury. And me and Buster really like coming here. So it says there that Flabbury had a mill a thousand years ago at the time of the Doomsday Book. Crop 4 mill is just down the way a bit on the River Avon. There you go kids. Absolutely stunning day, I wish she was out detecting. I hope you're keeping well viewers, um, nothing's changed in England, we've uh, been trying hard to lift this ban but it's not going to happen, uh, I know it's affecting a lot of people, uh, sitting at home I can't work like I've said in the past because I'm on furlough, I've been trying to just get out the house and um, have some nice long walks with Buster. Otherwise, I've been sitting in the house drinking and smoking too much. Uh, but, on that note, I have managed to give up the alcohol for five days, just for something to do. Otherwise, I'd be sat in the house drinking and smoking. I'll end up looking like Bernard Manning. I'm too sexy for my pint, too sexy for my pint. I'm gonna have another. Hey Anglo Celtic, what are you doing dragging me out in 1985 and putting me in your video when I'm quite happy here in the world famous Embassy Club? If I see you do this again, I'm going to get this pint pot and shove it where the sun don't shine. Alright son, because I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt. This pint pot will hurt Anglo Celtic. Spend a lot of time on Facebook because I've got nothing better to do. Facebook, it drives me mad. Half the people are convinced that the hobby's imploding. Lots of bickering. Uh, people thinking the hobby's going to get banned. How's it going to get banned? Let's just say that there's, uh, at a guess, 200,000 metal detectors in the UK. What, what are the Archies going to achieve if they all of a sudden make those um, detectors illegal overnight? 200,000 machines still getting used and uh, what are they going to do with the fines then if they can't hand them in? So metal detecting won't get banned, 
stop flibber jabbing on Facebook, uh, get out the house, take your dog for a walk, stop um, winding yourself up thinking it's going to get banned, that's my, that's my solution. Absolute stunning day though. You can't go digging, just, just get out your house. Get out your house and get some exercise. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. walk right down there into the distance and show you that, that wonderful uh, piece of high ground by the church and the river. Good exercise for me and Bunter. Just talking to a nice fisherman just behind me there. He's had one chub and one perch, at least he can get out and do his hobby. I was explaining to him what's gone on with metal detecting and he said uh, he thinks people have had enough. There's going to be a rebellion soon. Nice fisherman. The river isn't too high at the minute for this time of year. A lot of the time, um, that road there where the car's going past, that road uh, gets cut off with the flood waters. But luckily, it hasn't happened this time of, this this year at least. Everything else has happened in 2020, but this area hasn't flooded up to now. That's a nice ploughed field on the other side. It was freshly ploughed a few weeks ago. I'll have to look into seeing if there's any way of getting permission on it. Just loving uh, all these autumnal colours as well while we're out on this lovely country walk. All the different shades of brown and gold and red in the foliage. The sheep love it too bend in the river just down the way just approaching that bridge there it's called the Jubilee Bridge it's the bridge here another fisherman just over there there's a lot of pegs on this river this is uh, this water is uh, it's not owned by them but Birmingham Anglers Association they have full control and access to it for their hobby of fishing but at least somebody's getting out doing what they want nice shot under the bridge i used to do this for a living i used to have to uh, paint bridges and pipelines and stadiums and that industrial painting just a little side note there painted some massive bridges across the uk so it's Monday the 23rd of uh, November today, so possible lifting of the uh, lockdown on the 2nd of December, just over 10 days away or something, but we'll have to wait and see. There is talk that they'll keep the lockdown and only lift it for five days over Christmas. That's going to be like mad, isn't it? Five days of people just going out and doing everything people haven't been able to do for the last month. Uh, there'll be five days of metal detecting rallies if they do that. Five days of just people getting out doing whatever it is they couldn't be doing. I'm not one for being jealous of people, but there's a house all the way along this riverbank. These are all massive gardens, big houses. That's one of the smaller houses. And I've come down here some days and those massive gardens the grass has been getting cut all by itself. Every one of these gardens all the way along the river here, they've all got those uh, like robo robotic mowers. It's crazy the times we live in. You see a little mower going up and down the slopes of the posh houses. the geese in somebody's garden there and there's a swan there there's the church on the high ground oh I would love to uh, detect these massive gardens there I'd really really love it but at least I'm out it's absolutely beautiful today 
isn't it but he's happy first time I come down here I was blown away by this location I won the lottery I'd uh, buy a house here I think I'd buy that one right there I'd detect the bejesus out of it then I'd move I'd move to that one then I'd move to that one I'd just buy all the houses one by one, selling them on and just detect detect all them gardens just buy this fishing peg and I've got an eyes only find, look it's an old knife I don't think it's Saxon or Roman oh it says stainless china I better put it back for the next fisherman because uh, it's Chinese it might have the Rona virus on it. I did want to get out and um, do a bit of magnet fishing or something, but it's not going to happen. I just can't get Sid Perry out of his shed to come with me. He keeps making rings and talking about his ring piece and stuff. Right, sorry about that viewers. Uh, I was interrupted there by a phone call from Anglo-Celtic. Right, let's get back to making these rings on this video. So like I was explaining earlier, I lubed my rod up, so my, my rod was nice and lubed. Uh, I've heated my ring piece up so that all the molecules changed in my ring piece to make, to make my ring piece nice and relaxed. It's gone a bit pink and now I've got to put it on this big pole here. So I'm, go I'm going to pause the video in a minute and I'm going to sit my ring piece on this big shaft. Uh, I don't want you to see that bit because uh, I'll just leave that bit to your imagination. But yeah, so I've been playing in my shed with my ring piece. <laughs> I, mean, I love making these rings. I bloomin' love it. Oh, I could get lost in here for hours playing with my ring piece and my lube. Anyway, I hope you like my videos and uh, if you want me to play with your ring piece, just drop me a message or just post in the group detecting anonymous ring piece fiddlers and uh, I'll make you a nice ring piece kids. I'll try not to split it. <laughs>